Welcome back to Heroes Chronicles. This is Scenario 3, a new enemy. Tana must defeat the Vori Elves guarding the land bridge to the northern glaciers, but a new enemy has joined the search for the Sword of Frost. All of Tana's skills, spells, and experience will transfer to the next scenario along with his best captain. Uh, we do get to choose the marketplace or the blacksmith. I'm going for the blacksmith. Another set her eyes on the Sword of Frost, but neither did she want to destroy it or keep it from being found. Kija, the wife of the brutal barbarian king Kilgore, came to possess this dangerous blade. More than ever, Tarnum had to succeed. Jelly was still ahead of me and the reports from my scouts say that he's fortified a town near the land bridge to the northern glaciers. It's the only way to reach Jelly, so I'll need to take that town. But my harpy spies have spotted barbarians in the area as well. What are they doing up here in the north? Ever since I heard the news, I've had a sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. Um, well, let's send, let's grab that first, let's go through. I think we should grab the pillar. Uh, pick up all the troops. Harpies as well, see what other heroes we have. Another overlord with scholar. Let's grab you. Read these units. Ah, uh, 10 to 19 war unicorns. I didn't even pick up the ballista. So I'll send you back. Grab the Medusas and the Ballista. Okay, that's going to help. Uh, I don't know if we can take out these war unicorns. Dwarves. Grab a few more of these guys. I was untested before, but now, after I placed, uh, after I've placed uh, a few victories under my belt, the evil dragons have agreed to join me here in the north. The red dragons complain endlessly about the cold, forcing me to build huge bonfires to keep them warm. It's costing me a lot of wood, but since Jello is bound to have some of the green and gold dragons fighting on his side, I'm going to need their power. Yeah, so we'll see if we can... Now uh, get some dragons. Dragons need level 2, Labyrinth and Manticore, okay. Dragons need everything. I do want this extra gold. Losing the troglodytes is, I guess, something I can afford. Lots of sulfur everywhere. Harpy Loft. Ooh.
Okay, so they're killing off all, all the troglodytes. That's fine. And down here. Okay. No more troglodytes. I guess that's what they're there for. Day five, you're gonna run back, get some extra troops. Let's clear this out. Can I pick up the the uh, harpies, please? There's no. Okay, I guess I need to take the dendroids out first. Okay, we'll head to the labyrinth. Make sure level two requires uh, one more gem. Let's build the market place. The example I set for my people when I was a, the brutal barbarian tyrant has come to its final fruition today. A man named Kilgore now rules my people, and he's turned them into the bloodthirst into the bloodthirstiest bunch of savages in all the land. But still, I had hope for my people. I sent some messengers to the nearby barbarians, asking them why they have come here and if we can enter into an alliance together. Cost me a lot just to get one gemstone, but let's go magical level two. And then the dragon cave needs 20 sulfur. There's some gems over there. Oh, I was supposed to stop by the labyrinth. Guards, do I need to lose anyone? I'm gonna get to the dragons. Um, can't quite get to the dragons. Mana Vortex would be good as well. Twenty-seven thousand. Um, let's grab a dragon. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. I do want to give Titan the Mana Vortex. I'm a little bit worried about these war unicorns. Let's step inside. Okay, he does need to visit for the day, that's fine. What? The Mana Vortex temporarily doubles spell points. Where is my doubled spell? I've got 60. Okay, that didn't work. As far as I can tell. Portal of Summoning. Let's go take on these war unicorns. Using the Harpies is fine. Necklace of Bliss. All four primary schools by plus three is pretty nice. A rugged warrior rode into camp today, refusing to surrender his axe to my guards. I saw him from a distance and recognized him as one of my people, a barbarian, and ordered that he be brought to me. That is not wise, Overlord Tarnum, said the beholder knees. Yes, added Kilkick. He could be an assassin. Let's interrogate him. No, I will talk to him, I said. Remembering that I am supposed to be insane, I looked to my right into thin air and said, I told them, Mother, I'll talk to the savage. Yes, alone. Turning back to the beholders, I said, Take the barbarian to my tent. I will talk to him alone. Later, the barbarian was escorted before me. He appeared proud and strong, ready to die. Good day, I said. You lead this slime. Yes, and what are you savages doing so far from home, I asked. I represent my leader, Kidja, third wife of King Kilgore of the Krulod. The barbarian said, What does she have to say? Only this, Nyan scum. She has come to this land seeking the Sword of Frost. She does not know why you have come here, but she warns you that if you get in her way, she will string you up by your ankles. Do you understand? So I was dealing with the third wife of Kilgore himself. Uh, I'm sure she wasn't looking for the Sword of Frost for herself, but for her husband. Again, I had that sinking feeling in my stomach. This was exactly what the ancestors were talking about more than ever. I had to convince Jello to stop looking for the Sword of Frost. Imagine what a madman like Kilgore could do if it fell into his hands. Do you understand? The barbarian messenger spat. Just then I saw a shadow drift across my tent, the familiar shape of one of my beholder advisors. If I let this barbarian talk to me in that way, the beholders would sense a weakness, as much as I disliked it. I still needed them, and my troops. So I cleared the distance to my messenger in a single jump and broke his nose while, I, while he was stunned. I took away the barbarian's weapon and broke his arm with the blunt end of the axe, then I threw the barbarian outside the tent where everyone could see. Go tell that woman that I do what I wish. I'm not like Kilgore, cowering behind his females when something has to be done. I am an eye on overlord. Then I buried the axe in the ground between the man's legs and told him to flee before I strung him up by his ankles. Can we get the castle before the end of the week? Plus one sulfur. It makes you level 3, another 15,000 to get the Black Dragons. Could be difficult. Not getting a lot of gold each day. How much are we getting? 4,250. Um, we are getting the plus 2 wooden ore. And the sulfur, that's all we have access to. Okay, resources are really thin here. Let's go back here.
Okay, we just need two of the ore uh, to get the castle, and that means we can get the two dragons tomorrow. So, I guess we'll use the crystals here. That gives us the castle. Um, then we will get ready to grab all the troops. I don't know if I'm ready to, for the five to nine gold dragons. I guess I have no other choice. So that's only three red dragons, it's not a lot. Uh, I'm out of cash. I'm gonna have to, have to wait a couple of days. Just so I can build this army. That's an 800. The barbarian woman, Kija, doesn't realize that I probably know barbarians better than anyone. I knew my threats would be met with violence. Unfortunately, I didn't have any choice in the matter. She declared war on me, and now I have two enemies here in the north, and I'd rather not kill either of them. I don't relish killing my own people, no matter how misled they are, and over the years I have lived with the elves. I have grown to love them as well. Okay, let's get ready to take on these gold dragons. You guys, 700. I'm gonna wait another day. Okay, let's go. I've had to dip into my reserves of wood to keep the fires burning for the dragons. Fighting battles in the north are never easy or cheap. Okay. Can't really complain about that. Got the gems. Follow the road uh, into Sand Flash. Okay, we can only get the ogres. I'll go grab the Hall of Valhalla first. Should probably do that. Dessa Hero is there. Send you back. Chase down that hero first. Or is he just going to do laps around? It's kind of annoying when they just do laps around like that. Let's grab the resource silo here. Day six. Got a decent army. Build the capital. So we are getting uh, 8,000 gold a day. The beholders knees and kill kick. Uh, meet briefly with me each night to keep me informed about our progress and discuss the next day's march. Knees, who seems to have ears in every faction of the camp, keeps me informed of any possible betrayals so I can squash them before they get out of hand. And Kilkik has taken charge of collecting intelligence on our enemies. Today he informed me that he learned something interesting as he interrogated an orc prisoner. I didn't ask about the interrogation or if the orc survived. I already knew the answers to those questions. It seems that this third wife is trying to arrange for her sons to be named as Kilgore's heirs, said Kilkik. Yes, of course, if she gives Kilgore a weapon as powerful as this sword of frost, he'll certainly be grateful, I said. 
So we've determined that alternate methods of dealing with her, such as bribery or extortion, will most likely fail. She has a higher goal in mind and will probably never surrender, said Neith, which meant the only way I was going to be rid of Kijia was to kill her. The enemy has fled, has tactics as well. Sixty-six orcs. Six hundred health. I guess I should deal with them later. Do I want to do the double attack here, but I might lose my dragons. Probably will lose my dragons. Oh, they're only centaurs. I thought they were uh, war unicorns, so it's not that important. Let's just see what happens then. <laughs> Whoop. Nice, nicely done. Okay. I don't want her to run away. Let's wait for the moment. Glorious victory. We got the necklace of dragon teeth, clover of fortune, expert estates. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we've got gems. Day one, 8,000 gold. It's my entire army there already. Um, I will take this hero with me to the next scenario. So, you've been there already. Upgrade the ogres. That'll make them a little tougher. Right, then we need to figure out who we're taking with us. Maybe just the ogres from uh, from here. Pick up a plus one attack. Uh, we will grab that. I can go through the monolith.
During one of our strategy meetings, I turned to Kilkick and asked, Have you learned yet where Jello is going? Maybe we can beat him to it. No, said Kilkick. All the elven prisoners we've interrogated have been ignorant of Jelly's ultimate plan. He's a wise leader, keeping that secret from his own people, said Nees. But I have a suggestion, said Kilkeek. What? So far we've only captured underlings, the unimportant. We need to capture someone close to Jelly. It was a good idea, but right now Jelly ignored me as long as he was well ahead of my army. If I kidnapped someone he cared for, it would probably anger the impetuous elf. Then again, maybe that's what I needed. I needed Jelly to be off guard. Um, I do like Basic Scholar. Yeah, let's go with Basic Scholar. Tan has been vanquished. Here as well, I can grab. Uh, well, they've been taken, it seems. The harpies here, sent you up. Got some Mercury there, a quest guard, and then our goal uh, is up here somewhere. Uh, let's see, we'll tag the old tower. Plus one knowledge. Okay, so we should be getting all of the resources now. I will go for a major level three very soon, and then hopefully major level four as well, and it would be nice to get some good spells. Uh, what else do we need? Um, Orcs, Blister Yards, Castle. Let's go for the Castle here. As soon as we do have the cash. And uh, that's all. Back to the dungeon. We'll go for all of the upgrades here as well. Well, the artifact merchants might be good. Let's upgrade the. Well, that is Mercury. So let's let's upgrade the Stilted Voices. Uh, first of all, gives us the Medusa Queens. Okay, grab these guys. Uh, we can upgrade the dragons. Definitely want to do that. Let's go magical level three, first of all. Uh, and then level four, hopefully we get town portal. Another couple of dragons there. So I think I want to grab all of these. Um, plus the ogres, maybe the orcs. Or maybe I do want the harpies. Health of 14. Orcs, I think, are a little bit tougher. Uh, but they are third tier. Uh, 15 health, well, not that much tougher. How these 20 to 49 Pegasi, they've just appeared, <laughs> just appeared there. Uh, let's send Tarnum back to go and rescue him. I'm not going to open that quest guard until... Uh, 
Not until I'm ready. So I should be grabbing these orcs then each week if I if I'm bringing the orcs. Still there. Heading back, it is day six. Um, I am going to upgrade the dragon cave. Turn all these into black dragons. Speed 15. Extra 120 health. the Medusas. Um, I will upgrade all of the uh, the rest of the units as well before we uh, uh, we head off. 51 Harpy Hags. How many Orcs do I have? Let's upgrade the Orc Tower. There's 25 here. Uh, another 15 here. Uh, yeah, I do have uh, two towns producing Orcs. And these guys do have 20 health. Okay, so they are a bit tougher than the uh, Harpy Hags. Day six, let's wait a couple of days. Level four need eight of the various resources, so I'll wait one day for that. Some of these upgrades take those resources as well, uh, which is why I'm waiting. Increases power by plus one. How much does that cost? On oh, three thousand, it's not too expensive. Fence by plus four. Sure, let's grab one of those for now. Power plus one is fine. Um, so stay one. Send you around to pick up some uh, some units, some gold. Let's upgrade the rest of these. So we want to upgrade the. Well, I want make you level four first, uh, which means uh, I will get a better rate at the trading post. Uh, so let's do that. Mage Guild level 4, see what we get. Um, town portal, fantastic. I might as well go level 5 as well. Uh, over here, we don't need anything else. We want the orcs, the ogres, orcs and ogres. How many harpies do we get per week? 17. Where is the harpy dwelling for an extra 7 or 8? 
Um, so yeah, we're still getting more orcs, and they're a bit tougher. I'll oh, hang on to those. Tarnum needs to go and rescue Sinker. So let's go for the upgrades, wait one more day. So I need, um, let's take a look. Yeah, I might leave Mage Guild level five. I'm just getting the resources too slowly uh, to do that. Let's instead get some crystal. That's what I'm missing. these guys nice okay not a lot better but a little bit better sixty-seven getting more resources so Neutral Kings need five gems. Wait one more day for that. Let's go Minotaur. Minotaur Kings, first of all, we'll upgrade these guys. Okay, a little bit better. Two more dragons. So just need to upgrade the Manticores. Five Mercury, five Sulfur, which I can should be able to do it tomorrow. Let's grab these guys and then we should be good to go. Upgrade the Manticores. 16 of these guys. Turns them into Scorpicores. Paralyzing Venom? Okay. Um, we are going to wait one more week, I think. Can actually Town Portal Sand Flash. Uh, we'll do something like this. Take on the Pegasi. Okay, so I need to upgrade all of these. You can run back and do that. Pick up the orcs and things along the way. Uh, once you get back, upgrade them all. Then I'll send Tarnum over to uh, to grab them. Uh, see if we can finish off this map. Let's go 
those guys. Day six. Day seven. Um, day one. Okay, so now we're good to go. Grab those guys. Grab that. Um, put them back. There we go. Just step out of the way. Pick up a few more of those. So the enemy should have built up an army as well. It's going to be a pretty big fight, I think. Basic tactics is good. Okay, we don't need to upgrade anything else. Um, actually, we don't upgrade the the orcs here. Okay. Let's leave them there. You're going to step out, Tarnum. Um, need to leave room for the other orcs. Uh, let's do that. Turn portal to Shadow Den. back again. We will create these. And uh, it's a pretty pretty big army now. So let's town portal over to Drago Bridge. Now you have no wisdom so you can't learn um, town portal unfortunately. Over here, we'll grab these guys. And we are good to go. Sinker is only level two. sent him up um, and maybe he has time to level up a little bit. This town will take more time than you can spare to see so you make an arrangement with the guards to allow you to pass if you deliver the, the celestial necklace of bliss to them. Uh, you refuse to throw the celestial necklace of bliss up to the guards as they ask so you wait them out. Ultimately their greed gets the better of them and they open the door offering to allow you and your army to pass if you hand the necklace over. Do you give them the necklace now? Uh, yes. Okay, so I don't have the necklace. Oh, I should have bought some more things down here. Should have purchased some more items. Got the ballista, dragon cliffs. I have no space for a dragon. Shield of the damned. The enemy has fled. Expert Earth. Expert Artillery. How many gold dragons? Just want to see how this plays out. Power of seven, yep. Missing the, uh, the necklace now. If I put them there,
Okay, I don't know if that was better or worse actually, but let's pick up the shield of the dam. Defense plus six, nice. Guess that's where we need to go. What is the actual wind condition? There's something up there. else we want. I just want to see what's up to the north. There's an arena. I think that's it. Okay, just the arena. Oh, some griffins have appeared. Okay, that's fine. Tarnum, let's take take the castle. the dragons down there, leave the ogres just out there for the moment. Let's start. Um, okay, so we've got Grand Elves, 21 War Unicorns, Armageddon, Frost Ring is 130 points, don't really have a lot of magic. I could blind... War unicorns just to start. Okay, they've been blinded as well. Beautiful. Unicorns, if I attack that way, I should be fine. Freeze up my archers. Okay, dwarves are almost down. Giants have a ton of health. There's 61 of them. Whew. Uh, fireball. Okay, mass bless. I should have done that at the start. Okay, they're going to get sent out.
They're rooted in place, actually. Well, the dragons will finish them off. Uh, so that's fine. The army's too big for them to deal with. Glorious victory. Let's go advance Scholar. Expert tactics. 